Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to beautify close baby portrait. So this is the photo. So I'm going to show you the procedure of making this. Hope you will enjoy it. As we had to work with this background layer, therefore I prefer to make two copy of this background layer. So here you can do it by pressing Ctrl J or if you're using Mac then you can do it by Command A plus J. So here is the two copy of this background layer. Now I'm going to separate this subject from this background because we have to add some lights on background and uh, give a little bit blur on background. So now I'm taking the quick selection tool and selecting this subject carefully. And please be careful on selecting because here the edges uh, are very important. Now we have done our selection. Here we'll go for the refined edge. If you are using Photoshop earlier version, then you must have to go to the uh, refined edge option and here I am going to select and mask just click on select and mask and here I am taking the uh, refined edge brush tool and I am brushing the outer edge of this subject and please do it very carefully Here we are seeing the subject is not selected uh, perfectly therefore I am taking the quick selection tool from here and doing the selection perfect. So here I think it's perfect now. Now giving the radius around 15. Now the subject is selected. Now for separating the subject from background, we must have to take the layer mask from this layer mask button. Now we are seeing the subject is masked. Therefore we need to select the subject on layer 1 also because we need to vanish the subject from this layer 1. Therefore just press Ctrl and click on this layer mask. Therefore, the subject is selected. Uncheck all those other uh, layers. So here the subject is vanished, but some spots are remain yet. Therefore, we need to remove this uh, spores by spot healing brush tool. Therefore, I am taking spot healing brush tool and brushing on these spores carefully. Now, here we are seeing that the tree has cut. Don't worry, it doesn't matter because. Uh, we have the subject before this now I'm going to give a uh, blur on this layer one therefore I'm going to filter and uh, blur gallery and taking the tilt shift give the blur as you need and reposition this blurred area
pixel the blur has done now we need to reduce the brightness of this background because if you can reduce the background then the subject will be highlighted most therefore i am reducing the brightness and reducing the contrast as well well we have done the reducing the brightness from this background now we should add light on this photo therefore i am taking a new layer on a part of all of those layers and taking the brush tool and taking the foreground color uh, a little bit yellowish and give the opposite 100 percent and we need to take soft brush tool therefore i'm taking soft brush press middle of this art bowl. don't worry it can be repositioned now reposition it as you need but here we are seeing the light has fallen from this angle therefore we need to uh, reposition this light here now reposition it carefully I think this is okay now give the blending mode to screen and reduce the opacity of this layer. Here in photography we used rule of third and we are seeing this photo need a little bit correction of rule of third therefore I am downing the subject a little bit that it will looks good I think. Now we have to now we have to take some adjustment layer to uh, color correct and please follow this as shown as screen.
So as we have taken some adjustment layer, now we have to make the final color corrections. Therefore, we need a merged layer from all of these layers. Just click, just press Ctrl Shift Alt and E. Then here we have gotten the merged layer. Now I'm going to filter and uh, camera row filter and adjusting this light and the colors So here it's the final version. So let's check what was before and what is now. So just press alter and click this background layer so that we can see what was before and what is now. So this was before and this is now. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep liking and commenting on my videos so that I will be encouraged to make more videos for you. So bye bye for now. Thank you.